In my Facebook video tutorial last year, the fresh lumpia ubon was the most viewed of my videos. For those who watched it last year uh, on Facebook, I want you to watch this little video now because this one, I've revised and improved the recipe for the uh, wrapper. Here are the ingredients. For the fresh lumpia wrapper, four eggs, three cups water, one fourth cup oil, one teaspoon salt, one cup all-purpose flour, one cup cornstarch. For the filling, one fourth cup oil, one tablespoon chopped garlic, one half cup chopped onions, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon chicken powder, one half tablespoon salt, one half teaspoon vetsin or MSG optional, one four teaspoon black pepper, one and one fourth cups water, one fourth kilo ground pork, one eight kilo chopped shrimps, one half kilo shredded ubod, one hundred grams of shredded carrots. 100 grams shredded Baguio beans 100 grams shredded sinkamas 1.5 cups of shredded cabbage For the white sauce 1 tablespoon finely chopped fresh garlic 3 tablespoon sugar 1 tablespoon vinegar 2 tablespoons of flour, 1 fourth cup evaporated milk, 2 cups of drippings from cooking the filling. If it's not enough, you just add water. For the brown sauce, 1 fourth cup sugar, 1 tablespoon soy sauce, 1 tablespoon chicken powder, 2 tablespoons cornstarch or cassava starch, 2 tablespoons water, 1 tablespoon of finely chopped fresh garlic, 1 and a half cups of water, 1 fourth cup roasted and crushed peanuts. We'll make the wrapper. Eggs, salt. You mix this together only to break the yolks. We do not need to achieve a foam. Okay, this is all right. And then I add in cornstarch, flour, water, and oil. And then mix this together. Right, this is fine and then let's prepare the prep pan first you heat the pan and then what I do is I just wipe this with oil because I don't want too much oil so you wipe this with oil and then here since this is cornstarch based you have to stir this every time you scoop because it's going to the cornstarch is going to settle the bottom here so this is about one fourth cup I need only about three tablespoons all right once you think it's hot enough you lift this pour this in and serve all right low to medium heat you will know when it's ready because the sides really touch you like this once you pull it up and you cannot hold it in one piece it means it's not yet cooked all right see this part is not cooked yet see, if you try to move it by the way you cook only one side you don't have to cook the other side lower the heat because we're, we don't want to brown the wrapper see here you have one wrapper down so we wipe this again okay and don't forget stir before you scoop 
and then lift and forward. Let's make the filling. We heat the pan first and then we add in the oil. Then we saute garlic. And then onions. When the onions are soft, we add in ground pork. You can use ground chicken if you like. I'm going to add in the shrimp. For those of you who are allergic to shrimp, you may omit the shrimp. Alright, then we add in the seasoning. I have here soy sauce. I have salt. Chicken powder white pepper or black pepper you can double the amount of pepper if you want to and then vaccine if you don't like vaccine then you don't have to put vaccine all right then i have here this is ubud from the coconut you soak it in water when you slice this because it is colors yeah. you remove the water And then we have sinkamas. In the absence of uh, ubod, you can just use all sinkamas. And then I have carrots. All right. Then I'm going to add water. You might wonder why I'm adding water. I need the water to get the drippings. All right. For the sauce. Then let's cook this. You can cover if you have a cover. I'll add the beans and the cabbage last. Okay, now I'm going to add the beans. And then I'm going to add the cabbage. By the way, you can uh, slice your uh, vegetables bigger or you can make them like a uh, julienne cup. All right, and then once this boils, this is done, you adjust the seasoning to taste if you need to. But so far, I tasted it and it's alright. And then after that, we will drain that. The drippings, we will use it to make the sauce. Alright, this is done. We will drain this so we can get the drippings. Alright, let's cool this down and then let's make the sauce. Let's cook the white sauce. This is the two cups drippings when we made the filling. To this, I'm going to add evaporated milk and sugar. Instead of evaporated milk and sugar, you can add one third cup condensed milk. And then you have flour. You have vinegar. And then I usually add the garlic here. But you can also use the garlic as a puppy. And then you just cook this until the mixture thickens. And we call this the white sauce. Here, this is done. Once it boils, for the brown sauce, I put the I caramelize the sugar first. Here you can see the sugar is caramelizing. When I caramelize sugar, I don't touch or I don't stir the sugar until it's melted. Soy sauce. Then I have chicken powder. Then I have cassava starch. Then I have water. Also dissolve the tapioca starch or the cassava starch in water before you put it in. Then I also put in the garlic. As I said, you can put the garlic on top. I like to uh, mix the garlic so it doesn't have a very raw uh, flavor. Okay, I want to explain why I'm using cassava or tapioca starch instead of cornstarch. 
because the brown sauce, which is typical of the sariwang lumpia, has a consistency which is gelatinous. And you can get it only from cassava or from uh, tapioca starch. You can't get it from cornstarch. I will show you later. I want to show you, this is the effect of tapioca or cassava starch. It's gelatinous and it's clear. You cannot get this from cornstarch. It's a little bit um, sticky. Okay. And the same with the uh, cornstarch. It thickens as, as it cools, so that's okay for now. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. I'll show you two ways to wrap the lumpia. So I put here, these are romaine, these are, I wanted uh, the lettuce but we couldn't find some today. So I just cut the uh, center so it won't, the core of the romaine so it will not break the wrapper when we wrap it. Okay, I put about one fourth cup. It depends on how big you want your lumpia to be. Okay, I fill it only Two thirds, one third I fold over like this and then roll. Okay, like this. Okay. Let me do one more. This is one eighth, so two of the one eighth will give you one fourth. But it's up to you how much you want to put in your lumpia. Alright, so the wrapper, two-thirds I put filling, one-third I used to fold over. Alright, like this. And then, roll here. This is one way. Another way you wrap it, this is easier. This is another way to wrap this. I put the lettuce here and then I put also about a fourth or you can put more if you like. This one is wrapped differently. We fold it on the sides and then we roll it like this. So like this. I will just use this one a sample all right here we have two sauces this one is the white sauce which we here in the Visayas we like that in Cebu and here we have the brown sauce see you see the texture it's gelatinous this is from cassava starch or you can use tapioca and then we put peanuts on top. Here in the Sabuano version, we don't put peanuts, just garlic. So here is our fresh lumpia. You can choose what sauce you like. They're both good, depends on your personal preference.